In other episodes, we've showed you how to build a container for bamboo to provide shade and screening made out of pressure-treated lumber. In this video, we're going to show you how to take a very simple stock tank, which can be purchased at any farm supply place, and use it for the same purpose. Most of our customers have the ability to put their plants in the ground and use an in-ground barrier such as you see in the background. But what happens if you've got a pool deck that's made out of concrete? Or you simply have a wooden deck and you want the plants up a little bit higher? What you're looking at here may not seem very impressive at first, but when you consider that this total amount of shade you see is coming from the plants inside one six-foot planter, that's pretty impressive. What you're looking at here is a simple stock tank which could be purchased at just about any farm supply store or a co-op, for example. This one has been painted with tractor paint, which was purchased at Tractor Supply Company. But you can paint it any way you want to or just leave it the plain galvanized color. Normally you would drill holes in the bottom of this to allow for drainage. But we had a brilliant idea that came from a customer of ours who was a builder, and they were installing these on top of a brand new white concrete swimming pool pad and didn't want the dirty soil draining out on top of the pad. So they came up with the idea of plumbing it and draining it all away. We're going to show you exactly how to do that so that you can accomplish that even if you've never done any plumbing before. We will show you in detail how that is accomplished. If you want to use plumbing rather than to drill holes in the bottom of the tank for drainage, this is the plug that's on the bottom front of the tank. You remove it simply with a 3 8 drive socket wrench. As you can see from the water coming out the front of this unit, it is working very successfully. This is after all the plant material and dirt was in place and we had watered it in. If you had two or three or four of these together, You'd simply join the plumbing together with glue fittings on the PVC and T intersections. What you're looking at here are holes drilled in Schedule 40 PVC just as you would for drainage. Make sure you get all your measurements accurate. So start with the base of the unit and then put all your junctions together and measure them accurately also. Measure each one individually in between so you know what length to cut the piece and then measure it off and mark it with a pencil so that you'll know what length it should be. Then cut it off with a hacksaw. If this is the first time you've ever put together pieces using PVC cement, you need to know two things. One, the purple pre-cleaner dries almost immediately and you can set your pieces aside with no problem. But once you start using the cement, it actually melts the two pieces and you have to fit them together very quickly and you, once you've got them in place, they're not going to come back apart very quickly, meaning you've got about 10 to 15 seconds to fit them together. That's one more reason why you want to have everything cut precisely before you ever get started. The next thing you're going to want to do is to cover up all those holes that we drilled in the pipe. That can be done with landscape fabric, or in this case, I just used some extra fiberglass screening that we had around, and you need to sneak out with your wife's best pair of scissors to cut it and then fit it or wrap it around the pieces of pipe. After you've wrapped the fiberglass or the mesh around the pipe, you're going to want to secure it some way. In this case, I just used some thin wire. This is a very critical picture. You need to pay very close attention. If you'll notice, you've got two pieces. These will be connected together with a short piece of glued PVC. But before you do that, you have to thread in the one into the hole in the side of the tank. You must thread it in first, or you will not be able to attach the rest of it. You thread it in, and then you put your glue fittings between it and the T that makes up the rest of your loop. As you can see here, this is the very last step. This is where the completed loop is inserted into that piece that was just threaded through the side of the tank. The first thing you're going to want to do is to cover this pipe up with gravel, as you see here, just to the level of the top of the pipe. And then you will add your dirt until you're about halfway up the side of the tank. For this size tank, you're going to want to have about six number seven size containers of bamboo. And as you can see, we have plenty to pick from. Once you have the plants placed as you like them, you're going to want to surround them with a good quality garden soil or topsoil. And then finally, you're going to want to top all this off with a nice layer of mulch 
to help hold the moisture in. In this case, you can see we've spread it right up to the very top lip of the tank. And finally, you get to take a look at the gorgeous shade that's been created by the accomplishments of filling this tank up. And once again, thank you for coming to Almoville Bamboo.